Alright guys, I'm back here again. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little exterior walk around and show you the engine. Uh, show you there's no chicken and lights. See, it does work. It's already about at normal operating temperature. And you can see it does idle where it should, right at 750 RPMs. The only light that does come on is the ABS. It's actually not on now, but it comes on whenever you start driving. It's pretty typical of a Integros. So, hopefully you can see it. Not really sure. There's green metallic flakes in the paint and that there you can probably see it. Unfortunately it does have organic pads on the front so you get a lot of brake dust on the rims but I just cleaned them up a little bit. There's no horrible road rash on the rims. You can see still a bunch of good tread on the tires. the hood so this is a real Viz racing carbon fiber hood Let's see if I get a close up there you go the hood actually the vents on it are functional there's a plate right here that you take off And uh, it's really, I, I just keep it on because in case it rains or if you got to wash the car, the water can leak down into the valve cover and get into your spark plug holes and make it idle, kind of messed up and run bad. But there's a Mugen valve cover, got skunk two headers, uh, carbon fiber valve cover cap, Megan racing, front strut bar, uh, custom intake. Uh, it's actually a five wire ground ink system and it does have an HID kit. It does not currently have brights installed on it, but here, that one's a little bit more white than this one. This one's more blue. It's a little bit brighter. Go ahead and go over a couple of cosmetic issues. This right here broken it's temporary temporarily fixed uh, there was a spot here where the fire blast is showing but I, I filled it in with quick steel so we paint it over and it did the same thing on this other side but I tried to fix it with quick steel it didn't stick too well though uh, show you the rest here's the rim on this side uh, probably any curb rash. Um, there's the Z3 fiberglass front fenders. Uh, here's a little bit of paint that's coming off of the side skirt. Let's see. And here is the rust bubbles. They're on the right rear quarter panel. And you can see this got good treads on the back too. Same thing, organic pads, so you do get a little bit of brake dust build up. Here's the drilled and slotted rotors. And here's where the paint started coming off from the rear spoiler hitting it. And that's where the rear spoiler was. And it had broken, they took it off. And here is also where the paint is peeling on the top. I actually do have a can of that so that you know exactly what, what paint you gotta use. Got a really, really bright license plate uh, light. And you can see it is running, not smoking. And here is the skunk to exhaust 
carbon fiber taillights and the GSR tag. Same taillights. Same story over here with the spoiler. Uh, there is a nick right there from where the body kit came undone and then slapped into the paint on the left rear quarter panel. Nothing major, and that's just watermarks right there. Uh, this is where the fiberglass has been fixed on the back, so it really just needs to be sanded and painted again. So there's the left rear rim, no curb rash. Still the slotted rotors, slotted and robe. And I guess that about covers everything. You see, probably here there's no horrible ticks or knocks or anything. Runs really good. And again, Idling right at 750 where it should be. No check engine light. And I guess that about sums it up. Thanks for looking, guys.